Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Going to the chapel. And we're gonna get married Gee, I really love you And we're gonna get married Going to the chapel of love bum, 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 bum. Spring is here The sky is blue Whoa, whoa, whoa. birds all sing as if they knew today's the day we'll say i do and we'll never be lonely anymore because we're going to the chapel and we're gonna get married going to the chapel and we're Gonna get married. Gee, I really love you, and we're gonna get married. Going to the chapel of love. I think that's good. Don't you guys? That's good. I'm a little hoarse. Can you guys hear that? So, good morning, guys. Um, this is Welcome to Bell's Bargain. My name is Amy. Hey, besties, two days left. Two, count them, two. It's Thursday morning. I'm a little hoarse. We were out last night and did a lot of talking. Everybody's like, congratulations. And I'm thinking, I got to rest this up. I might need it that day. <laughs> so anyway, and it's also super early. Everybody's still asleep. It's like Thursday morning. It's like 730 and they're all still sleeping. So I got my morning coffee. Mm. <coughs> a dollar, people. A dollar. And I'm like, I got to do my quick little haul and my challenge. All right. If it's your first time here, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider um, sticking around. I start every video with a song. And you can request something if you'd really like. And um, I do everything Dollar Tree. Okay. So, apparently, my daughter's here. From One of my daughters, from my, both of my daughters from Iowa were here. But the one came here, she said she went into a Dollar Tree in Iowa where everything was $1.25. It hurts my heart. So I wanted to ask all you guys, is anybody else there? Do you have a Dollar Tree yet that's gone to a dollar twenty-five? And I, I'm assuming that's where they're all gonna go. Then how's it gonna be a dollar? How can they call it the Dollar Tree? Like the Dollar Twenty Five Tree? <laughs> anyway, they'll figure it out, right? I'm still gonna love the store because you still find amazing things even for a dollar twenty-five. But that ten percent off Sunday, that's gonna become real important, right? So, all right. This is what happened. I have some stuff that I picked up from two different stores. Very small. Because I had ran in. Um, this would have been like, oh, I guess last week. No, I don't know. My days are all running together. I ran in to pick up one thing. And, of course, I have to do the run thing and see if there's anything new. Hmm. You know, I have to. And so there's just a few things. But then also today is a challenge video. So Amy from um, Bargain Mama, you know, the triple A's. It's amaz amazing Amy's of Arizona. We have a little challenge. And so I'm going to link her channel below, her video below. So what we did is we both made gift baskets spending $10 or less. Mine are both $10. So I don't know if hers are both $10. Maybe they are. And it was, it's like a fun way to show you guys some gift ideas from the Dollar Tree. So it was $10 or left, less and we made two different baskets. I don't know what hers are. She doesn't know what mine are. So we'll do that. So I'm first I'm gonna do my haul. I know it's themed Thursday, you guys. So the theme today is I'm getting married in two days. And so I didn't do any crafts. You got crafts on Tuesday. You're not getting crafts today, but you're getting a little haul and sort of a challenge, which is kind of a craft putting a gift basket together. We can think of it that, right? Okay, <clears throat> let's see. I'm all over the board this morning. Um, first of all, does everybody have coffee with me this morning in my kitchen? Are y'all here? We're probably gonna wake everybody up with all the noise in here. 
So I got it. Let's see. Let me update you on a few things. Surprise bridal shower on Saturday. So that was a whole bunch of fun. So sorry the video didn't, didn't go up Saturday. You got it Sunday. The backyard is about halfway decorated. Um, so two of my daughters are here. The third one comes in on Saturday. And, um, and we're just having... This is kind of exciting. I can't believe it's all going to be over. And Mr. Marcus just keeps saying, you're going to be my wife. <laughs> You guys have to see my shirt. Okay, so obviously we know the pirate theme. It's a pirate theme wedding. So we have a couple of matching shirts. So last night we wore these. It says, eat, sleep, yo-ho, repeat. <laughs> yo-ho, repeat. So my one daughter, who thinks she's funny like I am, goes. So we were talking about like what song we're going to play when I walk down the aisle. There's a really cool instrumental of yo-ho, yo-ho, which it, this is what we're gonna do. So my daughter goes, yeah, I'm gonna go, yo-ho. <laughs> you are your mother's daughter, aren't you? Anyway, <clears throat> you guys are also getting leftover makeup and hair this morning. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna run out there, do my video before everybody wakes up. And uh, then today is go buy the rest of the wedding food. I have to get my nails done today. And um, we have a rehearsal tomorrow, and then voila, we are we are there. It's all gonna happen. So it's kind of exciting. For you new people that are watching right now, you're like, what is she talking about? Let's just say, my besties out there know, we've, I've been planning this wedding for quite a while, and it's finally here. I'm gonna marry the man of my dreams, Mr. Marcus. I like to say it like that. Mr. Marcus? His name sounds good with the Southern accent. Okay. So let's dive in first to what I bought that's from a haul. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I walked into the one store, and of course I had to go right away and look at their Christmas. Like, it's up front anyway. So I did find a few things in Christmas that I was, like, really happy with. And I was like, oh, wow, love that. And that's these two. You guys, were these out last year? Because I don't remember these. So I'm looking at them, and I'm like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Um... Well, if I do them this way, I could put them on the bottom of Effingham. <laughs> Good morning, Effingham. He's not laughing. He, she, we don't know. Yeah. There's no other half, so we can make it whatever we want. Okay. <laughs> right? <coughs> you guys, I have a cough this morning. That's not good. I need to be, like, up and moving and drink my coffee, and I'll be fine. It's just really early right now. So, I'm not sure I like these, but I got them anyway, because um, it's an ornament shape, so obviously I can do something pretty cool with them, and to show you guys, but I just think they're kind of blah, like blah, but I like that they have the galvanized on the top, so of course I have that piece. I did think, like, maybe I would just two-side them. I'm not sure. Who knows? Then I found this monstrosity. Look at how huge this is. Like, this is a big, clear ball. Are we going to theme today? It is themed Thursday. But um bum I think I'm not laughing. It's themed Thursday. <laughs> the theme today is balls. So, this is... But I was thinking, like, okay, so it's got... A, I want to show you guys this. It's got a pretty decent... It's almost like water bottle size, um, you know? So, I feel like you could get maybe some of their little miniature bottle brush trees in there. And I was like, man, if I could get tweezers somehow and glue it in there, it would be super cool looking and then throw, you know, some snow or something. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I'll figure it out. I mean, and if I don't make anything with it this year, it'll go in the bin for next year because there's always that. But I hadn't seen those big ones because you remember we bought the white ones and we made our cannonballs for the wedding. These are bigger than those. So these are pretty large. Some ornament filler, which I don't normally buy. I don't normally buy this, but I did love the blue and I love the iridescent and this in there. So, um, so, and then I got one with traditional colors just to add into my stash, but it is something I don't normally do because I don't normally make like ornaments and, but actually I tell you, if I threw this blue into this one, voila, you'd have a pretty cool looking ornament. Um, and also I thought about, like when I did the, the um, 
the ornaments out of the Coke bottles from Disney World and I put a photo in it, you could easily put a photo into this one. So the big thing is getting tweezers that are long enough that you could get something in there and place it where you wanted. Anyway, again, I don't normally buy the filler, but I did snag two of these, this being my personal favorite. See, there's the holly leaves in there. So, <clears throat> I don't know what. Oh, but I do know what. I forgot. The reason I grabbed this one was because um, I saw this galvanized piece, which is a Christmas tree. They also had, oh, dang it, you guys, I can't remember. They also had, was it Santa Snowman? Um, no, a stocking. They had a stocking, and I'm like, what am I going to do with stocking? But the Christmas tree I liked, I'll show you one in, in a minute. But I was like, I don't know. You could literally decorate this Christmas tree up with the stuff in this bag. This is like little ornaments and ornaments and just, you know, it could be kind of cool. And I was thinking the holly, I could almost cut it in half and make it like garland on the tree. That was one idea. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but that is one idea. And then they had, um, let it snow. Look at these words. So there, it looks like there's three in here. There's three, but you guys know what I would do, right? I mean, you know what I would do with this. I'm gonna show you. I know it's three, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it as three separate ones. I'm gonna glue them all together, because the one is so flimsy. But when you put three together like that, oh, it's just it's a much better. Like this would make a really cool ornament, actually. Hmm. It really would. Okay. Well, anyway. So I would, I'm gonna leave my three together and use it on one craft, or I'm gonna glue them together, rather, I should say. <clears throat> but I haven't seen those before, and I certainly haven't seen this before, this Merry Christmas. So I love this. It's so perfect for so many things. Actually, look at, look, I could put Merry Christmas on the bottom of this tree. It'd be super cute. Yeah. Okay. Then <clears throat> they had these two things, which, I'm not sure about the colors. They're not like hitting me like, oh my gosh, I have to have those colors. I think they're too primary. That's just my opinion. So they're the long boards, right? So we have blue and we have green. I have, a, I have an idea. Um, I think I'm not gonna use them for Christmas. So this one has a Christmas tree, this one has, because my guess is we're gonna end up with a full rainbow of colors. So I'm gonna put these to the side. I'm hoping I'll find an orange which I did not see at Halloween this year, but because they're doing this, I feel like they're gonna bring all the colors out. So I wanna get a whole rainbow because how cool would it be to have like a whole rainbow colored sign, you know, going up and then obviously you'd have to do something on the side with the cutouts. But if I could get a whole rainbow, I think it would make a really cool outdoor pool sign or, or like a sign for a kid's room, a little kid's room or something. So I'm just gonna see if I can find those right now. I might find some more of these and make something for Christmas, but I do think these are just really, the green's not too bad, but I feel like it would have been better if it had been more of a forest green. And this blue is like, it's so primary. It's not even like winter wonderland blue. So I don't understand it. They both need to be muted, in my opinion, to make something really Christmassy. They're too, <sighs> Like, yeah. So, but I'm gonna hold on to them and see if I can find some more colors as the year goes through. All right, and then also in Christmas, I was so excited. Every year, this is like a staple. Look, that'd be such a cute headband. Oh, maybe, like a little snowman headband. Part of my DT threads for Christmas, except I'm not doing it for Christmas. But anyway, <clears throat> maybe I will. I use these on everything and, um, I already, didn't I already haul the dog scarves that I use on snowmen? So I found the snowman hat and I did, I snagged five of them, um, which should be enough, but I love these. They're so perfect. The snowman hat are so perfect. And then brand new Christmas item, never seen this before. And I was like, oh yeah, they're really tchotchke. They need some help, but they could be super cute. And that's these two signs shaped like a house or an arrow, depending on how you look at it. Um, you know, home for Christmas. I love that they had the chimney on it. So this one's home for Christmas. All hearts come home for Christmas. I love how this one's, you know, more of the tattered faded. This one's a little more vibrant, but look at the tree. 
I was thinking it'd be so cool to put a, like a Christmas tree next to it. I guess it's not quite tall enough. I was thinking it would be tall enough, but maybe not. It's not. Should have bought two. Could have done it with two. Doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> so the other things too is I want you to think about these. These would be super easy to put the crates in between them and make like a little cute little planter for a coffee table or a dining room table just by adding them. And I would um, Mod Podge on the back, use a tissue paper or something, Mod Podge on the back, so or paint them, and then put like probably maybe four of the small crates together in between here as like a planter holder. It'd be super beautiful. You could put um, fake florals in it or you could, and that might be what I do, I don't know. I don't know for sure yet, you know that, right? I just buy this stuff, it gets thrown into a pile, then I pull everything Christmas out and I go, oh, 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 oh. So it's kind of like that. But I do think that one would be really cute as a planter. The other thing too is that these are larger pieces, right? So it's a really good size for doing something like that. You know I love to make more substantial pieces out of what they sell us. So that would really work for that. Okay, then um, I found this, which I've never seen this before. So Wanda won the prize, the giveaway a couple weeks ago. And um, I'm doing a, like a little gift basket of animal stuff to donate to a shelter. So I found this. So this is the start of that. Wanda, I'll finish it after the wedding. It's just so much going on. Um, and I thought this was super cute because it could be dog or cat. And I haven't decided which way I'm going yet. But this is just one of those cute little canvases. These are fairly new. I think I hauled maybe a month ago, I hauled the one that said something about summer. And I was like, it's so cute and small. So this is that same size. And I do think they're just really cute and small. But I tell you guys all the time, remember to look in these bags because they're not just about bags, right? Because there's things that you could use them for because this is a good canvas. So there's lots of things that you can do with the cam with um, the canvas material. Anyway, I love this. It is 11 by seven. And the bottom is pretty wide, look at that. So it opens up pretty wide. That was for the cat or dog thing I'm putting together for the shelter. And then in home decor, I found this piece, which I think is really cool. So it's one of the Main Street wall creations, but you have to look at the picture to see. See how they have it like under a shelf? And it's, I just thought it was really pretty. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for. But do you not love the, I'll probably cut it apart and use the greenery on something that I make, but, and not use it fully like it is right here. Anyway, I just thought it was really pretty and different. I'm always, when I find new ones, I usually pick them up. Like always. What is going on with the hair, Amy? Did I already say today I'm going to Costco to finish purchasing all of the wedding stuff? Have I told you guys what we're eating for the wedding? We're having euros. Like pirates are Mediterranean, right? Mm -hmm. But it's going to be really good. And then like a huge, like <clears throat> cheese and crackers and veggies and fruits and and then the quinoa salad and the mozzarella and anyway, salad and it's gonna be really good. Okay, off subject, but hey. Then <clears throat> this, okay, so I love these triangle houses and everybody makes them Christmas trees and everybody does all kinds of things with them. So this is a different pattern in the background. I hadn't seen this one before, but they're back and it's been a while since I've seen these, but they're back. Just picked up this one because it was the different pattern to show you guys. And everybody's always redoing the back. I have yet to do that. I used, I've used every one that I've done. No, yeah, yes I have. I've used every one that I've done with whatever their pattern was in the background. So I don't know why that would change now, but I don't know what I would do with this one right now. But I, I, I love them and I think they're really cool. I was trying to think, I thought I had a craft right here that I did one with, I don't. So Christmas trees for sure, right? If you got multiples, you could make a really cool thing. It ends up being a hexagon. Um, on like you could make just a. I should do that actually. That'd be cool. Like a really cool wall piece with them all the way around. My gosh, if you wanted to go buy a clock innards, you could do clocks. Do a clock in the center of it, which would be really cool. So <clears throat> I like these. They're back. I haven't seen them in a while. But I only only snagged one. I didn't need a whole bunch of stuff to put away this week. Let's be honest. And then this little number, like how cute is this? This has to go by Effingham. Effingham, I think this is like a decor piece for your area. So it says, um, milk by Heritage Company. Oh, dairy milk by Heritage Company since 1810. 
This is, is this Greenbrier? Yeah, it's Greenbrier. So country cute though, right? I mean, this is what like cute little vase for, for you know, fresh flowers. Um, a cute little thing to, to like you could burn, I don't know. Actually, I guess you can, you could put a stick candle in there. If you put some sand in the middle and put a stick candle. I don't know. It's just really cute. We could put, no, I don't think we can put milk in in Effingham. I don't know that it's approved for human stuff in it. Anyway, I just thought it was so dang cute. I had to get it, so it's going to go up by Effingham. Effingham, this is something else for your area. A dollar, people. A dollar. So country farm. You put some jute twine around the, the neck of it. There's so many things. Fill it with marbles. How many of you out there, oh my gosh, tell me right now, how many of you out there have had the jar full of marbles that you collected? I had one. I gave it to my granddaughter because she wanted it. I was like, yeah, when I moved, yeah, you can have it. So, but this is, so, this would be super cute filled with marbles because it'd be all colorful. Anyway, any ideas? But I want to know, I do, right now, you guys, tell me if you had the jar full, the ball jars. Mine was a ball jar, a blue ball jar, actually. There we go again. Well, you know I'm getting married in two days. I might be thinking about that. <laughs> My granddaughter doesn't want to stay here on our wedding night. She's like, I don't want to be here on the wedding. We're old, Scarlet. Really, you know, you're good. It's not like, yeah, you know where I'm going. Okay, back to this. <laughs> I think this is really cute. Okay, then these are like, like, wow. I'm really digging these. Only got one of each um, because I was like, I'm not exactly sure what I would do with them. But these are Greenbrier and they're antique hooks. So these are super cool. Look at that. So I did grab one of each so I could show you. Haven't yet decided what I would do with them, but so this is the antique bronze. Look at that. This is like the teal, bluish, whatever, and then this brushed white. Um, I like all of them. I think I like the white the best, but I threw each one of each color in. As I'm seeing you're looking at you guys, doesn't that look like a, doesn't that look like a Christmas tree? <gasps> These would make super cute stocking holders, right? Oh my gosh! Now I'm thinking like I'm. Like I could put it on the on the back of this and make it a stocking holder. Be cute. Doesn't it look like a Christmas tree? You see it? Do you guys see it? Okay, maybe not. I see it. Um, so these are brand new. So keep an eye out for these. A stocking holder is actually a really good idea. I'm trying to think. And now they're selling that wood there, so I could totally take um, a couple of the pieces of the block wood that they have and do something really cute and put this on there and make a stocking holder. Maybe I will. We'll see. Not sure yet. And then the last thing I found, I was like, oh my goodness. I love, 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 love this last thing in household. Then I have a couple of beauty things to show you. <clears throat> I love, 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 love these. And I don't even know. I'm not going to use them the way they are, but I had to show you. They have, these are called, <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys. These are called tassel plaques. They're green briar, so we're gonna see them. Check these out, but what I want you guys to look at, I'll show you each one. There's three different ones. So this one says, dream big little one. So it's obviously like for a little baby's room. Okay, but look at the, look at these wood beads on here. So love the whole concept. I would absolutely redo the tassel. I think the tassels are a little flimsy. Um, and this I would probably make a little more vibrant in the word, the verbs, words, because you can't. And you absolutely have to two-side it because a tassel like this, I feel like it's going to twirl. These would also make super cute little Christmas ornaments that you can personalize. All right, so there's that one that says Dream Big. This one says Hello World. And I love this because of the gray. I don't know why it's in pink on the verbiage. Again, they need to be two-sided. And then this one says Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. Look at that pretty color. I love that color as well. So, I mean, they're just... Yeah, I like these a lot. I was super, in, super intrigued. I was like, wow, these are cool and new. And on trend, right? So on trend with the wood beads and the tassels. Like, we're all making stuff like that. But I'm just, I wish they would sell me a whole bag full of those hexagonish beads, right? Please, Dollar Tree, are you listening? To the Dollar Tree gods, please. They're not listening. 
Okay, <clears throat> and then I was looking in the sock aisle because you know I'm always looking for, I'm, I look through everything and I ran really, as I ran through these, this was the second store I think. As I ran through, I'm like, I'm just gonna run through every aisle and in the sock aisle it just proves really quickly do they have any gold toast left. So, but they didn't, but I found these and I just wanted to show you. These are expressions. These are boys dress casual socks. I'm probably giving to the boys for um, for their Halloween costumes if it fits them. It may not fit them. I don't know. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is, so it's two pairs of brown dress socks for a little boy. Two pairs. Can you see that right there? Can you see it? It's not going to, it won't clear, will it? Anyway, it says $8. What? Yeah. And I don't remember what brand Expressions is. I kind of want to say, is, is it Target? It doesn't say, does it? I don't know. Oh, not $8, $9. Sorry, you guys. I can't even read this morning. $9 retail. It's just ridiculous, right? But, but a dollar, yeah. And then the last thing. So, do you guys remember, like, probably a year ago, actually, the SGXNYC hair product came out. These were like $10 a bottle. So <clears throat> this, I, it's brand new and this is Curl Refreshing Mint, Mist. So revive and nourish and, and enhances curls and waves, resists humidity, lightweight hold. All right, my hair's naturally curly. So when I, I don't wash my hair every day, obviously. I'm too old for that and my, my hair's falling out as it is. <laughs> I don't need to wash it every day. So, <clears throat> but when I do it curly, then I'll like mist it again the next day to bring the curls back. Cause you know, you sleep on it and whatnot. So I'm super excited cause I think this is gonna work amazing for that. And these are $10 bottles, you guys, like 10 bucks, a dollar, a dollar people, a dollar. So this is one I did not see last year and it's the only one I've seen so far this year. If you have curly hair, keep an eye out for this. It's the bounce back. So there's that. Okay. Now that was my short little haul. Now, I guess it wasn't super, well, it was a little haul. Yeah, it was a little haul. But now I'm gonna tell you about the two baskets I did. And then afterwards, I'm gonna do a little video of putting the, the baskets together and a creative way that I decorate the basket, okay? So the first one I'm gonna do, I picked up a basket. I made a basket for, um, I mean, it could be, it's for a woman. <clears throat> it's very, it's pink and purple colors. And it's like a bath beauty it's a bath accessory thing actually or bath um products like gift basket so i spent ten dollars and that includes the item that i'm using to put the gifts into <clears throat> so this would be great for a christmas present a birthday present a thank you present whatever so let me just show you everything that i got so the bolero body yogurt now what i want to tell you is i on this one i was specifically going for color actually i should start it this way i found these which are new and they had a whole end cap with these and things that went with it. And so I started with this and I was like, all right, here's where we're going. I'm going to go down this. Why? When you're doing a gift basket, one of the things is I wanted something a little more substantial. Not like this is much smaller, right? So because you want to have volume in your gift basket, especially if you're only spending $10. So this was a little bit bigger, right? It's bigger than my hand. And I love the coloring on this. So I started with the bath crystals. On that same end cap, then they had these, which were matching. And this is the Bolero Hand Cream, Lavender, and Cedar Leaf. And this one is the Hydration Lotion Milk. So, and the packaging matches. They had all of these on the end cap. And this one is Vanilla Rose and Cinnamon Bark. Why, I don't know, but anyway. <clears throat> so nice, nice coloring. And this was also on that end cap. So it was the one that was color-wise was going to go the best with all this because see the color in the back of this packaging, right? And obviously I'm thinking, well, I got to throw one of these in. So got the purple one. Again, like you can see, we're going to see the color of the purple up here. So it's really trying to stick within the colors. Um, more important to me actually than the products because it's going to be a nice gift and it's Bolero. Bolero products I think are fine. So then there was this. See that purple? Boom. I was like, yep. So we got a pedicure. I already showed you guys the body yogurt because these all these colors were so good together. And then this is the Aroma Guru Lavender Roll-On. Have you guys ever tried this, by the way? It's really good. So the roll, I have the roll-on, um, is it the, I guess it is the lavender, yeah, by my bed. 
Um, the lavender is very soothing. I think like this, anyway, I like their roll-ons. I think they're really good. And the mint one, like if you were stuffed up, to roll the mint one on and, and smell to clear your sinus. So I should have done this morning. Amy, you should listen to yourself, right? And then, um, for good measure, just the little lavender fields candle because candles are always nice in a gift and if they're nice to light in the bathroom. And anyway, it felt like it all went with sort of this scented, girly bathroom vibe on this basket. And then this, which is in the kitchen section, but I thought it looks like, doesn't look like a bathtub. So I was like, it just sort of went. And I loved that it was clear. So I'm gonna see all the colors, right? Now, if you do a gift basket and you put it together, like you can use tissue paper. By the way, really cool thing, if you have a paper shredder at home, use the paper shreds from your paper shredder. It makes amazing filler in a gift basket. Messy, but a great filler. So, but for this one, I'm like, all right, I wanna be a little bit different. Now, everything that I bought cost $10 total, including this. So what you use to put it all together, that's an additional cost, or it just depends on how you look at it. Like, obviously I have florals around all the time because I'm a crafter, so I just went and grabbed some of my florals. But if you had to buy the florals to do this, it would be another couple of dollars. So I'm gonna put it all together, and instead of using tissue paper, I'm gonna put it all together with these two things right here. So that'll be in the next video. I mean, in a minute here, I'll do that. Let me show you what I got for the second one. So the second basket, gift basket that I put together, I feel like it's definitely male. It's towards, it's for a man. And um, I'm just, I am would title it hot and spicy, hot and spicy. All right, <clears throat> so this started out because on the food aisle, I found these three, which my guy is gonna be so excited about. And these, I've already hauled, which one did I haul? I think I hauled this one already. Then I go there and they had two others. So this is Aztec's Revenge. This is Garlic Ancient Flame. This one is Jalapeno Flaming Rage. And this is Cayenne Montezuma's Revenge. These are so high-end looking little, um, you know, hot sauce things. I was like, perfect start for a gift basket. So I grabbed these three. And then I started walking the food aisles. And I'm like, I'm gonna get this together. I found the Frank's Red Hot Original. So... A brand name we all know it and see where we're going right and then um, this is sriracha salt I was like that just looked interesting and we got the chili peppers on there right um, and then I was like okay well um, I love the tahini so that throw a little salt um, sweet in there with some spice with some hot on it the hot and spicy peanuts by the Mancheros which by the way all of these I was really going for sort of the, the reddish color and then I'm like, I needed something bigger, right? Like in the girls one where I had this. So then I went, oh, I know what I'm gonna get. They're hot, right? So I'm not sure, I ended up getting the red and the green because I wanted to show you guys like this could tool, I could make it look Christmas. But if it was for a birthday, I mean the green's fine, but you could have done two red and it would have really color coordinated the whole thing a little bit better. But I went for, I, I, went, I went ahead and got two different ones. And then for my for my container was this. So this is a great masculine looking container. It's black, so it's gonna pop all the colors from the hot stuff. And this is just their, they call this just a PS kit. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's in their aisle where they have all their storage things. Um, okay, but now I'm gonna put a tag on this one. So just a regular chalkboard tag and like wishing you a hot and spicy birthday or, right, or, I don't know, something hot and spicy, it'd be super cute, right? But this one, normally, again, tissue paper would be a great option, but because it's male-oriented, and it's hot and spicy in its kitchen, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna use something that's totally free. How about some napkins from your last, um, what's it called, junk food, fast food, your last fast food run, so the kids are here, so like yesterday they got Taco Bell tacos. So I have these napkins around. I'm like, perfect, completely free way to pull the whole basket together. So, all right, let's put these baskets together. Okay, right, so here's our bowl. And I'm gonna start by, notice I'm shaking this upside down because I kinda wanna 
I want to get a little puffier on the top. <clears throat> and I'm going to take my larger items first and sort of build up the back to give it some height in, in what we're doing. And actually, I'm going to put this in upside down because I want to see the purple and not the writing. Okay, so notice that. And then I'm just going to like layer our stuff in here so it's nice and pretty. You can sort of see everything. It's always a game of balancing, right? I'm going to go this way. There we go. Okay, so now I can sort of see everything in the basket. So now I'm going to take just these, these little floral picks. I'm going to grab some off, taking them off the pick, right, you guys? So I'm not leaving them in the or on their stems, although you could, like if you wanted to cut them and stick the stems in, that's not what I'm trying to do right now, obviously. I'm just getting these florals in there to make it look pretty and really feminine, right? And there you go, you have like this really beautiful, beautiful little basket. Now, what you could do, by the way, if you didn't want to waste these, leaves you could put on the bottom of it if you wanted to I didn't I really wanted to keep it this way and I want you guys to notice too I picked a pink floral um, and then this one has like more purple in it and so I'm oh actually this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick this big one back on the back back here just to give it some pop and then the second one of these. Oh, right. See, these are the clip ones. So actually, you guys, I could have done this and included these as part of my purchase because I could have removed like the body yogurt or the wipes or the pedicure set could have come out of there to balance it. All right, there's one. So let's get this one started. Now, this one, because I'm using completely free napkins, I'm going to open up napkins like this. I'm just going to crunch them up in the bottom. These are free. Remember, these are your fast food napkins that I always, I always put on these. It's free napkins, right? <laughs> so if we don't use them all, they go in my napkin, napkin stash. Okay. So I'm just, just sort of starting like with a basic thing. Then I'm gonna put in my my jalapeno cheesy Cheetos um, mac and cheese, which already is, really fills it kind of nicely, and that's like my base. I'm gonna build around that, and then uh, I'm, open. I'm just gonna keep building these in there like, as I add stuff in. There's our sriracha. I'm going to put our little... Clip. Actually, I'm going to put the tahini over here because it has some of the green in it. So we're going to balance our green over on this side. It doesn't want to lean the way I want it to. <laughs> okay. And then um, we have our super hot peanuts. Our Frank's hot sauce is in here. And then voila, our three, because these are really what started the whole thing, and they're kind of our, um, they're our first signature thing in here, which is the hot sauce is, is sort of it. Okay, now I'm going to take the last of my napkins. As soon as I get them open. <laughs> they just don't want to open for me. And I'm, I'm using this kind of like tissue paper, right? So I'm going to grab the center. Like pop that in back 
here, actually. And there we go. Then I would take my little sign right here. I would write, um, wishing you a hot and spicy birthday, or whatever it is. And, oh, let's see. I'd put it on the bottle right there. See? And I'd write, wishing you a hot and spicy birthday. There you go. There's your guys one. Okay, guys. So, those are the baskets. Ready? Let's look at them this way. So, I just want to remind you that when you're doing a gift basket, remember, like, making it look pretty is part of the whole thing. That's why, I like, the florals in here look so pretty. It's like, if you went to a steak restaurant, or a restaurant, anyway, ordered a steak, and you, both of you got the same steak, but the one exact same steak, gonna taste the same, but the one steak has nothing on the plate except the steak, and the other steak has, like, pretty vegetables and some parsley and whatnot, the steak on the prettier plate is gonna taste better because that's how our brains work. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover, but we do. It's just who we are. It's why we put on makeup, it's... Anyway, so remember that when you're doing a gift basket, the visual of it is important. I, like, I didn't take off the price tags, but normally I would. I'm just kind of in a rush this morning. So, but one of the things I love about this is because it's that clear, so it just, the colors all look amazing. Using the florals is really good. You could wrap this in cellophane if you wanted to. Um, I would just insert my stick the card right in there and all kinds of things So just remember that how it looks I think is actually important packaging Of a gift basket is important. So I think this came out super cute great gift would make a great Mother's Day gift birthday gift bridal shower gift just had one <laughs> or You know any of those and then this one is my favorite of the two um, And it's just so I didn't take tags off See I'm in a hurry Actually, this is the second time I'm filming it. I filmed it once, didn't film it, didn't hit the record button, this part of the video. Anyway, it happens, it's early. I gotta go, I gotta go finish getting ready for this wedding. So I love this and like, I didn't write on the tag cause I'm, um, but I would write, you know, wishing you a hot and spicy birthday or whatever it is. I think this is super cute. What I love about this one is that everything is usable. It's all food, the basket's usable afterwards, even the napkins, right? They're usable. So this is just giving you guys some great ideas. Now don't forget, I, link below, I've got Amy's video. Go watch Amy's, let us know, watch them both, let us know what you guys think. This is something I think we're gonna do more of going forward. It was Amy's idea, and I, I sound like I'm talking about myself in the third person, huh? <laughs> Bargain mama, Amy. Um, it was her idea, and I was like, yeah, it totally sounds fun. And um, I told her I was gonna wait till after the wedding, and then I had to run into a dollar tree. I was like, oh, while I'm here, well, while I'm here. I'm just gonna get this done. So today's um, was a little bit different for a themed Thursday, but I hope you guys liked it. I love these gift baskets. I like the idea. We just wanna like give some stuff out there to help people, you know, be able to pull something together. I think we're gonna do some $5 ones as well, and then maybe even some larger ones. I don't know. I'll talk to Amy after the wedding. Amy's coming to the wedding. So you guys, hopefully the wedding will be live, but if not, we will do a video of it and you can see it later, um, but you will get to see the whole wedding. And so I don't have any wedding things to shoot in here right now, except maybe this, which is going on my cake table. It was on my, at my bridal shower, it was on the food table. I don't think I showed it to you guys. I can't even remember now. But right now, I gotta go. I gotta go get married. Except you'll see me again before I do that, because I'm doing a Foodie Friday with Zaniac. He wanted to do one while he was here, so we're gonna do, I think we're doing all the Christmas, like Christmas candies and stuff. I have a ton of them to try for you and let you guys know. Um, and so he's excited about that. I know he wants to go to a Dollar Tree with me too, so that's gonna have to happen at some point. So look for that video will be tomorrow. I have no idea what time, because of course I've gotta film it and get it up, and I'm not sure you know, where we are in things schedule-wise. I think they're going hiking today, and I'm going to Costco to buy wedding food. So, all right guys, thanks Bessie so much for watching. You know, I love you guys so much. I'm getting married. Go into my backyard and we gonna get married effing him no you're gonna stay right here you gotta keep an eye on the kitchen while we're getting married okay guys love you so much we'll see you back here tomorrow for foodie friday have a great day great week a great life and as always from your singing crafty crafter happy hunting at your local dollar tree Mwah.